create a campaign map using Campaign Cartographer 3 from an old scanned map. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. Let's create a campaign map. So I'm going to start from scratch. Going to, that's a map that was just, that was the last thing I opened. I'm going to do, do a new map. And we're going to do, this is an overlap, overland map, and I'm going to decide the settings myself because it's uh, not quite the same size. So I've got all the, some of the older uh, symbol sets. Let's do, um, no. Symbol set one, A fantasy, or B fantasy. Let's do A fantasy, or let's do the CC3 standard overland. That's a standard template. We're going to do that one. The width, we're going to make it, um, the width is actually going to be um, 250, 250, or actually 200 by 250. And we're just going to leave this as a, we'll leave, we're not going to put, um, let's see, what do we want? In the bottom left, we want a scale bar. And in the top right, we want a compass rope do that one there okay so then let's do next that's the dark blue bitmap next now we finish so this gives us and now we need to name this and we're going to put this on V 2017 Campaign map, campaign. So there we go. So this creates just a basic, the start of the campaign map. Now, I happen to have a scan that I'm going to base this on. So we're going to, it's under edit. Um, I thought it was edit. Edit. We're going to know it's under draw, and we're going to insert a font. Okay, cancel. First thing we need to do is we need to add another layer, and I'm going to add a layer called scan. And this is going to be our selected layer, and then we're going to draw, insert file, and very old PNG. And we say OK. So the first corner, let's snap. And the second corner, we're going to pull it up to about there. So that gives us our map. If I redraw this because it's outside the border, so that shows us there's our nice campaign map that we've got. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we need to draw a continent. If I now then if I pick another layer and I hide the scan, I see that it's all ocean. So we come back here. Let's go back to, um, well, we'll cancel this. What we're going to do is these are sort of macros. So we're going to, we're on the, we're going to pick the campaign map. This is the continent. Let's zoom out a little bit. 
and actually we want to show the scan but we're going to freeze the scan so we're going to go okay so let's so we're going to start up here and draw the a rough approximation to the to the shape well let's control z let's undo that let's try that again we're going to do the continent and Continent, space, and we don't need to really exactly match what I had drawn before. And this is drawing, shall we say, this is the randomized fractal layer. And the reason I, it's sort of... Um, not following along too well because it's fractaled, but that's okay. That's what we want. It was the, we're just trying to rough out and create the idea of what this was like. And so... There we draw here, 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 here. There we finished it. So that gives us our rough idea of the of what that map looks like. So we can now then. So we can always move. Uh, see the the issue that we have cancel. So let's. Now then, let's make this fit again. So we've drawn the basic, there's the coastal line in there that gives us sort of where our little um, uh, port that we had. And we can go in and adjust points. If I want to pull it out here, uh, let's retraw that. Now, anyway, th th there it gets a little complicated to do that, but this gives you an idea of how we can do that. Now, what we want is if I just take a look at let's do info list, and we're going to list a few things. What do we have here? Do it so. We have on the C sheet, we have background. Then on the sheet land, we have our, our scan is on the sheet land. So what we're going to do is let's pick only the scan. Let's freeze all. So the only thing that's editable is the scan in theory. Edit change properties it's one thing that's the scan uh, do it and what do we need in the sheet we want to put this on is hmm we have a problem so we cancel that Let's create a new sheet, add a sheet called scan. And that puts it up on the very top. Okay, so that's okay. So now then, edit, change properties. Do it, and we're going to put it on the sheet called scan. Okay, so now if we redraw the sheet scan is actually above everything else, which is probably what we want. So the next thing we want to do is we want to, we want to do some mountains. And we want to do filled mountains. Well, let's see, what do these mountains look like? Now, we can 
let's pick a mountain that we like, mountain set that we like. No, I don't like that mountain set. C3, C3, these mountains. So, that's a great peak. That's a mountain range. What have we got in the mountain ranges? So we've got mountain ranges here. So we're going to start putting mountain ranges. Oh, now I know why. We put scan on, those snap on. So we don't want to do that with mountain ranges. We want to put them just old anywhere. So we're creating a mount, set of mountain ranges. Actually, we probably should always go from left to right when we're doing this. Some place because they cover each other better. So we'll do left to right. And we're drawing our mountains. So this is some big mountains that we have here. And so we draw our mountain ranges because this is what was on the map. So we have this large mountain range in the center of the map. Or not in the center, but filling up a big chunk of the uh, central plains. Now there's ways to actually fill this and that we can change mountain types. And you can do uh, as much or as little customization as you want. Um, and let's go back to this mountain range here. And we probably should have specified the river, but we can go back and edit this. That's the advantage to using a tool like Campaign Cartographer, is we have the ability to edit, to add and remove as much as we like as we go through this process. So we've now created uh, most of the mountains that we need. And we're going to go there's the mountains. Now then while we're at it we have forest. So we want to go see the filled vegetation. And unfortunately that this is this is where we need to move our scan up, move um if we move it all the way up to the top we redraw. We see that we've covered most of this, but that's not. We actually want to have the scan. Land features move down. Let's see. Did we put it? Yeah, there we go. So we've got it sort of the land features. So we can start now. We have to decide what kind of forest we want. So we can, we have deciduous woods, let's do mixed forest. That's what we want to do. We want to do mixed forest. So we're going to put 
mixed forest here. And so we've got the mixed forest that we have here. And we would obviously have some mixed forest here. So we're going to fill in the map. And I'm just doing this quick and dirty, but we'll show you what we can do fairly quickly with campaign cartographer filling out, uh, doing this by hand. There are ways to do use fills, but I've always found them more difficult to do than to actually just start dropping symbols like this all over the place and let it handle the details. So we're there we go. And because we can then come back later, these are the big plots and we can put the smaller plots to fill in the details and to make the uh, fine fills so we can quickly fill about a hex a piece so we can do this and get a rough outline of what we need to fill in. And there we go. So we're all we're almost done with getting the quick mountains so we're just drawing in some mountains And that well, now we're going to have to add. So there's okay. We have some mountains here. And we have a spot of mountains there. Now we can obviously pick. Uh, we have the mixed one, we have a smaller mixed which we can use to fill in spots like this without, have, without the need to go all the way down to individual trees, which we can do with this because it has individual trees. This allows us to patch up and smooth out the details of the map fairly easily. So we go here and then we go here and we're going here and we can do the same thing with the mountains. So this is sort of a mountain pass. I, haven't want, I didn't want to zoom in, I just wanted to try and get a lot of things done quickly. 
just for this video so we see how this would go and we have some swamp that's scrub scrubland and this is swamp so these are swampy areas in here So that gets us the rough features of let's put the I'll put some deciduous fills in here. We needed some jungle mixed. But this gets us an idea of how we can quickly draw up a set of um, features with campaign cartographer. Now we want some large mountains, so we're going to put some large mountains here and fill in some of these with large mountains. So we have the large mountains and This is always fun. That gives us the large mountains. And we can actually then decide, oh, let's put a volcano. We gotta active we gotta add an active volcano down here someplace. So let's put an active volcano here and put one here. So that's what that looks like. Now if we so now since I'm, I have a scan, if I hide that layer, finished. No, it's not what I scan. I select this one and I hide the scan layer. This shows what my map looks like right now. So this is, this gives it, and I can zoom in here. And this gives me more detail where I can now go in and let's say, uh, let's go back to our forest, filled vegetation. Um, I have fruit trees, deciduous trees. I have, uh, what kind of trees do I want to fill in with this? So we're going to say pine fill, pine fill, pine tree. So we're going to, now, wrong kind of tree. We're going to pick this one. We're going to put a few trees in here. So we fill in some of these. We can fill some of these layers in this way and if I wanted to get really elaborate I could go in and decide which one what overlaps what because you have these pieces here like this which I can use to cover that things up like that or this is random so I can um, this randomly changes the shape which allows me to adjust the fills here and I see my mountains and so on but this was just a quick uh, quick demonstration of how we can take our map now the next thing obviously we would want is we would want to set up our rivers and default river and we need to set up our river goes from here through here through here through here through here up into the mountains there's our default river means we need to have the river there and we have another river here which goes through the swamp and then follows along the trees up into here and we redraw 
and we see that the river is covered over through that path. But that gives us a very quick map and then we can, let's do the last thing we have here. We need CC3 filled structures. So we're going to say we have a nice, where's our uh, standard walled city. Let's pick this. And we can make this, okay, that's point two. So let's make, if I make that twice as big, point four. Point four. More. I can say that the city is right here is point four. That, that gives us finished. And now we've got our basic campaign map with one thing that's left. And that's where we go draw. Let's let's I always like to do it in yellow. So I draw hex or square overlay. I want to do a hex grid fixed. I don't want to label it. And my grid spacing I want to do is five, I think what I want to do. And I apply. And there's my grid which gives my hex grid to this so I can save this file save and if I want to I can so this gives me my campaign map so there you go so thank you I look forward to learning what you think about this video let me know in the comments below I appreciate all your comments if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give me a thumbs down I appreciate both forms of feedback if you're new here and would like to subscribe you can click on the icon on the left if you're interested there's more content on the right